Hello, I'm Gabriel Perez Barreiro. I am curator of Feliciano Centurion Abrigo, an exhibition currently at the American Society. Today, I would like to talk about two very closely related works um, that Centurion made at the end of his life. Uh, they're two works that were initially displayed together almost as a diptych. And uh, they're works that make very explicit and clear reference to the illness that he was suffering and that ultimately uh, killed him. Uh, he suffered from HIV-related illnesses and um, passed away in 1996. So these are two small-scale works. Uh, the scale of them probably has to do with his inability to produce anything larger, more ambitious. Um, and they both have a very similar formal composition. They both have a text that's embroidered on the left-hand side and then a kind of diagram that is on the right-hand side. This diagram seems to be representing blood cells. Um, and of course, this was an illness that affected the immunosystem. So it affected the ability of the red and the white cells to kill infections. Um, and the text on the left, in both cases, kind of make reference to this battle that was occurring in his body as these works were made. Um, so for example, the blue work, um, I'll translate what it says. It says, in the silence of rest, my blood flows, just your love, is an act of faith and can save me. Um, so what's interesting here is that he's talking about um, the flowing of his blood. He's talking about love um, and he's talking about faith. So these were the central sort of ideas throughout his career. Um, he was very religious, uh, very interested in the idea of faith um, at the same time that he was expressing his love. And those two concepts are pro were probably very closely related. Um, in his mind and in his life, the idea of love and faith being essentially two sides of the same coin. In the other piece, in the uh, yellow piece, the, he makes more explicit reference even to, um, to this battle between the blood cells. So he says, um, my red blood cells increase, the white blood cells are protecting me. While my blood is flowing, I will let love guide me. Um, so there again, the idea that in his body there is this battle, there are these cells that are fighting against each other, but in his life he's very attached to love, to faith, um, to a somewhat, if, I mean, if we think about when he's making these pieces, he's at the end of his life, he's really sort of um, looking to his imminent death, but they're not works that are angry, they're not works that are um, claiming any sort of injustice. I mean, he seems to be sort of embracing, accepting, this idea of love, this idea of faith is something that will guide him into the next life uh, or whatever his specific belief there was. Um, so these are works that I think are just so poignant, they're so beautiful in how they're addressing his sickness. It also, if we think of the time he's making this, 1996, uh, the 1990s, there were a number of artists who were working with um, HIV-related illness and the representation of that illness from the sort of medical into the artistic and poetical. I can think of works like Felix Gonzalez Torres' um, graphs, where he is plotting literally the lines he's getting from the blood test. I can think of works by General Idea, the Canadian collective, where they were representing the uh, the AZT pills that they were um, taking um, to try to um, alleviate the symptoms of the of the sickness. Um, so this is a period in which the kind of medical side of the sickness comes very closely to this affective, to this emotional, um, to the spiritual uh, side of the work. So that's why I think these works are so emblematic and so important within Centurion's work uh, by bringing together these kinds of threads, the what's happening to his body and what's happening to his soul at the same time, how he's thinking about love, how he's thinking about life, and of course, how he's thinking about death.